It is September 1st and in my house it is officially spooky season although we start spooky season in August but I do at least wait to September before I start putting up the decorations but as far as I'm concerned it is officially spooky season. I'm very very excited for that and I'm also excited for today's video. We are finally going to be doing a look and a review with the new Nomad palette. This is the Ghost Town USA. First of all you guys look at this outer carton this is absolutely freaking beautiful i will be putting this up in my background i have started decorating i have some of the halloween themed palettes over there and then i put some decorations up over here too i just kind of wanted to have something up in the background but once i finish decorating the rest of my house some of the stuff is probably going to get switched around but i just kind of wanted something a little bit spooky back there for now and this will definitely be going back there i will definitely be hanging on to this card and i think it's just freaking beautiful as you guys know my palette did arrive a little bit late they did the reveal on saturday the 26th and i started to notice that other channels i follow but also get the nomad palettes for putting up their videos and i was like do i have mine yet has it delivered i have all my packages delivered to my parents house i don't have them delivered to to my place because we live in an apartment but i went back there and i checked it wasn't there so i reached out to nomad and they they assured me that yes the palette is on the way they're they're using a new shipping service dhl and as you guys know dhl can be a little bit iffy it was the palette was scheduled to get here on the 28th the palette officially launched on the website the 29th so had it gotten here when it was supposed to i would have been able to get this video filmed and up for you guys on tuesday on launch day but Fortunately, it didn't happen. It actually got here two days later, so it didn't arrive until like later in the evening on the 30th, and I just was not able to sit down and film before today. Today is Friday, September 1st. Once again, officially spooky season. We are so freaking excited. I have my poultry guy shirt on today. I thought, what the heck, you know, we'll, we'll get into the mood. We'll get into the theming of things with ghosts and spookiness. This is the official palette. Oh my god. It has a little shiftiness with it. I'll drop in some close-ups, but the palette shifts between two scenes. It's a mining town and then a ghost town, and it kind of shifts back and forth between the two. A little holographic packaging going on. It's very much like the Haunted Year palette. I think that was last year's Halloween launch. Either last year or the year before, that one also had a holographic kind of a shifting cover, which I just think it is just so freaking cool when they do these little details like this. The palette has 18 shades. So this is one of their kind of bigger palettes. They have a little card that comes with the palette. Always have these little cards. It describes the shades. It describes the destination. If you guys are unfamiliar with, with Nomad, all of their palettes are themed towards a specific de destination. It can be a city, a country, touristy location someplace. And this one is for Ghost Town USA. There are nine mats all of them have kind of a cool tone base even these over here that look like they're warmer are on the cooler tone side and then you have nine shimmers so it's kind of it's an equal matte to shimmer ratio and these shimmers are absolutely stunning it's a newer formula i went on the website because i wanted to be positively sure about the description of the shimmer shades and described as being their new soft touched formula and oh my god i have to agree when i did the swatches the shimmers they were absolutely beautiful we'll talk about some more of that in just a minute i'm gonna read the back of the card as we uh, throw up close-ups of the palette like we like to do over here on this channel. The new Ghost Town USA Intense Eyeshadow Palette. In barren terrain down dusty gravel roads rest the deteriorating mining towns of America's Wild West. Once bustling sediments full of strike at rich fever, they now are in the rest of decay 100 years after fortunes and residents vanished. From Calico, California to Garnet, Montana, these ghost towns are full of unexpected sounds, unexplained sightings, and unimaginable tales that suggest perhaps they aren't as abandoned as they seem. The color story, grit and gold. Cool tone mats in browns, greens, and blues paired with shimmery metals of copper, gold, and silver. Nine cool as sterling mats and nine glitzy as gold shimmers inspired by the haunted ghost towns of the Wild West. Now each palette that Nomad launches is also paired with a cause where some of the proceeds will go to um, that particular cause. And in this case, it is the birds of prey at the Penguins Fund that protects the habitats of raptors like the condors, vultures, eagles, and hawks of America's Wild West. So that's absolutely amazing. The palette retails for $49. Once again, it is already live on the website. I do have a code. It's not affiliated. I don't make a commission from it. It's just to save you guys a little bit of money. The code is Tenilia10. So my name, 
my first name followed by the number 10. It'll save you 10% if you decide to use it and pick up the palette. And you can use that code for anything else on the website as well. All right, so let's go on ahead and put together our look. I already have a pretty good idea of what I'm wanting to do. Now, you guys know I love green. So my first thing my eye wants to do is just reach into these two columns right here but we're going to kind of detour a little bit i'm going to go with this shade right here which is arrested decay and we're going to take that into this shade up here which is called skinner's saloon and then i think i'm going to take undead sheriff right here to kind of maybe smoke that out like in the inner portion of the eye i kind of want to do a little bit something different so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to prime my eyelids using my color pop eyeshadow primer i've been using the one from milani but honestly i don't really like it that much and I really want these shadows to you know have their their best chance performance so we're going to use the one from Colourpop which is this is the party proof um, eyeshadow primer in caramel so I'm gonna throw this on and then we'll come back and we'll start putting together our look first things first I have not actually put on a highlighter I thought maybe I could use a shade from the palette and we're going to try this one right here that shade is called Ryu Light Nevada, I think that's how you say that. I'm just going to use my Chic Pro here and I'm going to go into the shimmer. I did find when I was doing the swatches, these shimmers are also a little bit emollient. It's just very super creamy. I really loved the way that they were in the swatches. Very different formula than the Okavango palette. Those tend to, um, they were having kind of a little bit of a hard pan after I used them just for a couple of times. This formula in here, so much better. It's absolutely beautiful. At least it was in the swatches. We'll see how it applies on the eyelids. All right, that is applying beautifully as a shimmer. It does have a little bit of a, you know, glittery texture to it, but that makes sense. I mean, it's, it's an eyeshadow shimmer not necessarily a highlighter but it's still pretty on the cheeks i am liking that i'm going to start with the deeper shade first using my beauty bay brush here and we're going to go into arrested decay and just start laying that down on the outer corner it's kind of a charcoal gray kind of a shade i'm going to tap that on the outer corner and then just start blending that towards the crease like i said when i did the swatches these mattes just felt so freaking buttery and as you can see wow it is blending out beautifully i've never had an issue with the nomad mattes they always perform beautifully for me it's the shimmers that can be like hit or miss you know the different formulas that they've been playing around with but like i said in the swatches i've really like the shimmer formula all right so far that is looking stunning i'm going to go ahead and build it up just a little bit more definitely make sure that you're tapping off your brush when you are using the deeper shade so that you don't end up getting you know fallout all over your face i'm going to do the same thing on this eye i don't know what it is but this eye always ends up like going a little bit more wild than with this eye like they never really match i don't know why that is all right so i am liking how that's looking so far now we're going to go into skinner saloon right there to blend it out and i'm going to use one of my crease brushes this is from real technique i find if you have you know smaller eyelid space this a, a pointy brush like this really helps to get into that crease so that's where we're going to use this one so i'm going to dip right into skinner saloon i also like the very you know, old ghosty wild west imprints are in this palette. Every single one of the Nomad palettes always have these beautiful imprints in them. And I'm really glad that I got close ups of the palette before I started swatching because as soon as I swatched the imprints and the shimmers, they all disappeared. Oh, that is pretty. Ooh, I'm liking how that's coming along. These mattes are just blending so well. I'm not having to put in any effort. They're just kind of blending themselves out. I love that in a matte formula. I'm going to take the Blend Bunny 2 and we're going to dip into Undead Sheriff right here. And I'm just going to kind of lay that right here. Smoke it out in the inner portion of the eye. So I'm just going to kind of blend this into that grayer shade the middle toned one. Ooh, that's pretty that has kind of a almost purple lavender cool tone undertone to it so pretty that is so pretty the shades are just so yummy i think that's where we're going to leave it with the matte so now we're going to lay down our shimmers and the first thing i'm going to do is lay down my base booster from bh cosmetics i really want these shadows to pop and shine and laying down a glitter base like this can really help, you know, those 
shimmers pop. I'm just going to kind of carve and lay it down where I'm wanting the shimmers to go. All right, now to decide where we want to go with this. There's just so many directions we can go in. I think I'm going to go with this one, which is Ghost Train. Let's lay that on the outer corner, and then let's blend that into... Do we want to go, like, really kind of wild and do something different than what I would normally do? Yeah, we're going to go with this one, and then we're going to take in the green. I don't know how that's actually going to work together, but that is what we're going to do. So we're going to start here, blend that into this one. That shade is called Gold Rush. So I'm going to take the same sticky sign. We're going to go into Ghost Train. I mean, these are just so freaking creamy. Like, just the way they go on the brush is so freaking creamy. I'm just going to start laying this down on a lid where I lay down the base booster. We're just going to kind of tap all over the lid. I want it to blend in with that matte as well. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh. That is stunning. Some of the shades look like they have a little bit of shift to them. They're not described as being like duochromes or multichromes or anything like that, but like when I did the swatches, some of them look like they had a little bit of a shift. So I don't know. Like I said, they weren't described as that, so I don't want to say they're like, you know, multichrome or duochrome or anything like that. That is a stunning shade. I'm going to take this Gold Rush shade on this Eloise. It's kind of a smaller detail brush. I'm just going to lay that in the inner portion of the eye. So I'm going to take this and just kind of like paint it into this portion and let it kind of melt in to that first shade. Oh, that's such a pretty greenish gold shade. Oh, that's stunning! I'm going back in with that shade it has like the purple on it. I just want to melt these two together a little bit more. And now I'm going to go back in with that first brush that had Arrested Decay. No added product. Just want to melt the mats into the shimmer. Lord, this is so pretty. I will be doing more looks. There will be a two more looks done. That video should be going up on Tuesday. And then I'm also going to definitely do a third look or fourth look rather for my short form content as well. I really want to, you know, do a lot with this palette because I am enjoying it so much. All right, so we're going to go off camera. I'm going to do liner, lashes, something in the waterline, something in my lips, and then we'll talk a little bit more about this gorgeous ghost themed palette. We are back. Look is complete and you guys, I am loving how everything came together. Let me give you my details real quick and then we'll talk more about the palette. For my waterline, I'm using one of the Perfusion Multi-Chrome Liners or Trichome Liners, something like that. The shade is in Cyber. It's actually drawing out a little bit. It has like a purple to green to bluish kind of a shift and I thought that would be really pretty with this look, but yeah. Like I said, it's starting to dry out, so this may not last too much longer. For my wing, I'm using my NYX Epic Ink Liner. I was using my Artista Liner for the longest. I decided to pull this one out and use this one for this look. For my lips, I'm using a combination of the ColourPop Hocus Pocus Lip Pencil. This is from the first Hocus Pocus collection. This, this is in Sinister Ladies. And then my lip, this is one of the Powder Puff Lippies from NYX. The shade is in prank call. I just, just loving how this look came together. You guys, I am loving this palette. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Once again, we have the outer packaging. This will definitely be going into my background as Halloween spooky decor for spooky season. And then we have the palette, which has a little shifting holographic cover, which, oh my god, I just love the details that Nomad puts into their palettes all together. They just put so much thought into each one of their palettes. They do not slack. And this formula, you guys, it is beautiful. I am so happy with this palette. I have absolutely no complaints whatsoever. The mattes blended beautifully. They're pigmented, super soft formula, just absolutely beautiful. And these shimmers, my camera was acting a little wonky there, so I had to stop for a second. But once again, these shimmers 
super creamy, super buttery. Oh my God, they're so freaking smooth. Like I said, they're described as a new soft touch formula and that's exactly what they are. They are just so beautiful. While I loved the Okavango palette, the shimmers in that palette were a little bit more on the hard pan side. After only using them for a couple of times, I have not, I'm not having that issue at all with these. These are just so super creamy. It's just an absolutely beautiful formula. Gorgeous palette. I'm looking forward to doing some more looks for you guys. I cannot wait. Definitely be looking out for that but yeah i have no complaints i thought this palette was just absolutely stunning that is going to be it for this video i've had such a good time i hope you guys found the video helpful if you did please be sure to give the video a thumbs up it really does help with getting videos into recommendations just helps my little smaller channel you know get out there into the world if you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed i would love it if you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe and make sure you tap the bell so you don't miss a thing you can also follow me on my other socials i'm on tiktok instagram and facebook be safe take care of yourself and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.